Jeff Blankman talking right now with the Audubon Boys Shuttle Hurdle Relay Team after bringing home the state championship today, setting another school record. We'll start with Jake Mulford, who led things off. Jake, uh, just want to get your feelings here today. How did you feel coming out of the blocks? I felt good, as usual. I get out of the blocks really well. I came out. I was even with everybody, and then I just went out there, ran my race, and I felt comfortable until about seventh hurdle. Then I hit one with my knee, but I, I felt like I got control of that really well, and I finished the race. What was it like watching the rest of the guys go? Uh... Stressful, I guess, or anxiety, I guess, would be the word. That I, we, it was much, it was much tighter than we thought it was, you know. And we, we, we were just, we didn't want to jump, we didn't want to get disqualified or anything, so we were playing it, we we're playing it, I, I guess, kind of safe. But we just. They just went out there run the race. I knew we'd get it if they just did their job. Well, congratulations. Great job. Let's move here quickly to Nolan Smith. Nolan, you made up a lot of ground there. Uh, even the PA guy was like, Nolan Smith coming on strong. How did you feel during the race? I felt really, really good through like three or four. I thought I was clearing just about perfect. Really, I could see myself closing on the ground, but then... I don't, know, I don't think I got tired. It was just I, just I started getting a little bit higher. I could feel myself. I told myself to get down, and I finished strong, I think. Happy with uh, the time today? Oh, yeah, very very happy with that. <laughs> Would have been nice to break 59, but, I mean, whatever. It's a state championship and another school record, so I'm, I'm very happy. They still think it's the haircut that, that helped oh, you yeah, guys down definitely. here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Aerodynamics. <laughs> Let's move over to Tyler Reboff here. Uh, Tyler uh, ran the third leg today. Nolan kind of got you right back in it. Not that you weren't in it, but uh, you guys were in the lead when you got it. Did you feel any pressure when well, you him run, saw him coming towards you? Uh, yeah, it was definitely boom, boom right away at the start. And I think having that kid right there next to me the whole way really pushed me to do my best. And uh, I was pretty confident if I could get it to Mitchell within a step, we'd have a really good shot. Do you feel like you ran your best race today? I definitely think I do. I, in prelims, I ran a lot better than I thought I had in me. And uh, hopefully I improved on that tonight or today. That would be really awesome. But uh, we'll see. But congratulations, Tyler. Appreciate you joining us. Move over to the guy that ran the anchor leg. You were in second yeah. when you took off. What did you see in front of you and what threw, uh, threw your mind? Well, coming in, it looked like Tyler was just a couple steps behind the kid. Uh, but when he got to the, the start, we say red. Everybody else says go, but we say red, so there's different differentiation so we don't false start. And uh, I thought it was going to be like a go from the other kid and then a red from Tyler, like go red, but it was a go red. So I, I was a little slow. I was pretty slow out of the blocks, which so the kid was supposed to be a couple steps ahead of me. He ended up being about first hurdle, but when I was I know, about a quarter of the way to the first hurdle, so he got he had a good step on me there out of the box, but uh, I caught up to him just a bit over the first three hurdles, I think, and then it was it was dead even. I couldn't gain on him anymore, and I think second to last hurdle or third to last, he uh, he clipped one pretty good and just got just a little off balance, so I ended up getting him over the last last hurdle. So that was really. Did you know you had it when you crossed the finish line? Yeah, I was pretty sure because I definitely knew I crossed. I definitely didn't see him right next to me, so I thought I saw maybe his hand a little bit. So I thought my torso was definitely ahead of him, and we got a tenth, I think, on him. So. And you guys have been wanting this since last year. Does this give you the redemption of finishing second last year? Yeah, definitely. And uh, I feel for that guy clipping that hurdle because I clipped one last year, the last hurdle, and I thought I should have got Erlen last year. So. You know, hopefully he's not a senior and he can come back and get his redemption next year like I did this year. So. Well, congratulations, Mitchell. Appreciate you joining us. Best of luck in the 110s. Thank you.